Here's my movie. Okay. So I got this little, this movie here of my uh, magnifying glass movie. If I play it, so there it is. This is my little movie I have that I'm going to make into a DVD. And so what you do is, there's this cool site you go to, click onto the internet. And when you click on the internet, what you're going to type in in your search, whether it be and whatever your search engine is, you're going to type in burn Mac. Okay, and when you type in burn Mac, what comes up here um, is burn home. And here's the actual, uh, the actual uh, site, so you can make a note of that, how to get to that. You can write that down right now or go to there right now. And then what you do is you click on burn. And you go over here, and you're going to click on the download burn. So you're going to click that. And then we just wait until it starts downloading. Okay, so now it's done downloading. And just open up that folder. And mine's set up into columns, so yours might look like this, 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 or even this. But basically just open up the icon burn. You can drag it to your dock or whatever, but just, you know, click on it. Yeah, so just click open. Here it is over here to my left. This is the window, the burn window. So I'm going to close out all these other windows real quick. So I'm going to close this one out, my download window. And I'm also going to close out my uh, Safari. So here's my burn window, OK? And it has data, audio, video, and copy. Yes, you can copy um, disks. And I'll make another video for that. Um, basically, what we want is we want to make this video here that we have as .mov, or if you have an AVI, it doesn't matter. We want to turn it into a DVD. So I'm going to click on video on burn right here at the top. See that? Video. And I'm going to title what it is. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to cheat. I'm just going to highlight the name here and copy it. And then I'm going to go over here and paste it in. So there's the name of my DVD. And then what we're going to do is we're going to drag our file into here. And now it's going to say, one incompatible file. Would you like to convert this file to MPG? You're going to say, yes, convert it. And then it's going to ask you, like, where do you want to put it and all that kind of stuff. It, the default will be documents, burn temporary folder. And you can just click choose. It doesn't matter. But before you click choose down here, before you do anything, make sure this is correct. Your region is NTSC if you're in the United States. If you're overseas, you might want to be using PAL, which is um, I think this de defaults to. So double check, make sure this says NTSC. Just click that right now before you click choose. All right, so now just click choose. Now you can see it's starting to encode the file. What it's doing, encoding, is it's converting the file so it can play on a DVD, so you can have a regular DVD video. So we'll wait until this is done, and then we'll do the next step. Okay, now that is done. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up here um, to the top left where it says Burn. We're going to click on Burn and go to Preferences. And in Preferences, they have general, burner, data, audio, video, advance. What we're going to do is we're just going to um, go to video. And in video, we're just making sure, again, double checking that the NTSC is selected. NTSC. Then we're going to go to DVD. And normally down here at the bottom and use DVD theme is checked. I want you to uncheck it. Make sure all of these are unchecked. Later on when you play around, you can play with these, but 
Um, I just want to show you this. You can also make your DVD loop. So if you're doing some kind of event where you're just having the DVD sit in a DVD player at like an art event or some kind of gallery showing or some kind of thing. Maybe you're showing an open house. Maybe you're doing a garage sale and you just want to show the items you have. I don't know. You want to do high-tech garage sale. You can make a looping disc that just plays over and over. Maybe you want to make a DVD for the kids where it just plays over and over and keeps them entertained. I don't know. But you can do that, and this is a great um, little setting you can use, and this is wonderful, especially if you have a nice HD TV on the wall, and you just you have you filmed your goldfish, or you filmed some kind of outdoor views, and you want the disc just to loop and keep on looping when you have guests over, and on your HD TV on the wall, you can um, have that disc play on that TV over and over again. This is one way to do that. But today, I just want you to uncheck all of these. That's pretty much it. And now we can go back over here to this window. You can actually close out this window if you want. Once you've done that, we go back to this window here. And I'm making sure that this says right here before we do our last step. I'm just making sure this says DVD video. You can also do a video CD, an SVCD. But what today I'm doing is a DVD video. So we're going to click that and so it says DVD video so I know this is important this is telling us what we're making okay now I want you to stick in your your disk into your computer and I'm just waiting for my disk to read and I want you to you can click OK or ignore it doesn't matter so here's my disk that I'm using. And I want you to go back to this and after your DVD is in there I want you to click burn. And it's just going to ask you the speed and all this kind of stuff. Just say burn. And now it's making our DVD and that's it. Once it's done it will either um, start playing depending on how your computer is set up or it will pop it out like a toaster. So that's how you make a basic DVD if you don't have the correct proper DVD software. So this works on Macs and it works great. So this is for a simple DVD where you just have to drag. Now after all those settings have been set, everything I showed you today, now literally you can just take a video, drag and drop, put your DVD in and burn. So you're ready to rock and you can make um, copies of DVDs too. Thank you.